Okay, so um, a little over two weeks ago, I took you out to Cayley Pond and Lake Bella, and we talked a little bit about those bodies of water. We'll go back out there soon. Um, and on the way back, on the way uh, before we got to the uh, sugar bush, I stopped at a beech tree and I showed you a, a branch and I um, said I thought it was a beech tree because it had smooth bark and that I was going to snip off uh, some branches and that I was going to take them home and try to force leaves to grow. And that's what I'm going to talk about today because it worked really well. Um, and what I did is I brought the branches home and I put them in glasses of water and I just put them up on top of the fridge and I told you that if you did the same thing I would give you extra credit and so those of you who did that uh, and, it, and if you didn't don't worry about it it's just extra credit it doesn't count against anybody if you didn't do it um, but anyhow on that day I cut three different kinds of branches and put them all in water and I hoped that to fool the trees by having them inside um, where it's warm and giving them water, um, I, I was sort of trying to replicate the conditions of spring and trick them into growing leaves. Um, and so you might wonder how they did that. What did they use for energy? And trees, and the most famous are, are maple trees, so I'll try to remember to come back to that in a second, but they, they make sugar all summer long with their leaves. Uh, that's, that's the process of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is how plants make sugar. And that's the only food for anything that's alive on Earth. So we all depend on plants making sugar. Um, and they make more than they need. And they, all summer long, they burn sugar to grow and do all the things that plants do. And they also store some. And it's that stored sugar that provided the energy for the, uh, the branches that grew these leaves. Okay, so as soon as I put uh, the branches in water and the water started going up to the leaves, it was collecting sugar along the way and, and they, there actually weren't any leaves and there were buds. But once the water got up to the buds, uh, with the sugar in it that it picked up along the way, right? So the tree had stored sugar all winter long. Uh, then the leaves started to grow. And the leaves came out, and the, it was it's a race against time um, for trees because they've got to get those leaves out there, uh, and they've got to start catching the energy from the sun because they just have a limited amount of sugar energy to get them through the early spring, and then they better have leaves or they're just going to die. Um, so that's what I did. And a little bit back to um, maple trees. In the sugar bush, uh, the maple trees had grown, you know, had been uh, turning uh, carbon dioxide into sugar all summer long and making way more than it needed, than they needed. And then they pump it to all through the tree, you know, so that bark can grow, cambium can grow, roots can grow, and the leftover sugar they store in the roots all through the winter. And then when it starts to warm up and they start pumping water up to the leaves, that water is full of that sugar. And that is what we call sap. And we suck it out of the tree and boil off some of the water, right, because it's water and sugar. And that's, um, and that's how we get syrup. We evaporate off some of the water, a lot of the water actually. And that maple sugar is sugar that the maple tree need, uh, made last summer so that it could get it, give itself a jump start uh, this spring. Um, so I guess that, oh, one of the things I, um, a lot of people, a lot of kids especially, but probably just as many adults, totally miss the boat with understanding how trees work. And they all think that trees run on carbon dioxide because trees use a lot of carbon dioxide. All plants use carbon dioxide, but they use it to make sugar. And sugar is fuel, right? It's the stutba fuel. And so the, um, any plant has to make sugar to survive 
but then it burns it and it has to have oxygen to burn it just like we do. So every plant, you might think all they need is carbon dioxide because um, they use a lot of carbon dioxide, but they also need oxygen, otherwise they won't get the energy out of the sugar that they build. Okay, so I, I'm going to hold up uh, really the prime specimen. Uh, this is, these are some beech leaves, and you can see they're just beautiful, elegant leaves um, that the tree built um, here in my kitchen um, using sugar from last year as energy. Um, and so the beech tree uh, made really good leaves. You can see this tree also is well on its way to having big leaves, but I still don't really know what kind of tree this is. Um, as the leaves reveal themselves, we'll be able to take a crack at it. And then this third kind of tree uh, is lagging way behind, and I, I don't know if it's going to work at all. Um, so different species of trees, uh, you know, have different uh, life histories and strategies, and so that's what's going on with that. Uh, speaking of different kinds of trees, I went out and collected a bunch of acorns, which you know are from oak trees, and they're the seed of oak trees. Oak trees reproduce sexually, that is with pollen from one tree and uh, an egg from another tree, and so it's sexual reproduction. They get more than, it's not cloning. Um, and one of the things that they, uh, that happens is that seed turns into an acorn. So acorns are oak tree seeds. And uh, in the fall, they fall off and they're on the ground and they're often covered, the leaves fall on top of them, which is really good for them because then uh, the water is stored under the leaves with the acorns and it gives them a, a chance to stay wet in the spring. And so these acorns have sensed that spring is coming. Uh, the temperature has gone up. They have water available that's not uh, frozen. And so now's the time for them to come to life. And you can, I hope you can see this one has a pretty good sprout coming out of it. And that's looking for water. Okay, so the, the, uh, the two things that uh, the that an oak acorn or any tree has to work to get. They have to work to get water and they have to work to get energy. Um, and so acorns have lots and lots of energy, right? The mama oak tree, she put lots of energy, lots of calories into this acorn. That's why they're so good. That's why deer count on them to make it through the winter. They have lots of caloric energy in here that can be burned. So in the spring, acorn gets a head start, right? And it, so it grows a sprout, and the next thing it's got to grow is a leaf because it is uh, running for its life against time. If it, doesn't, if it doesn't get a leaf out pretty quickly, it's going to run out of energy and die. Almost all acorns die. Almost none of them make it. Kind of lucky for us if you ever walk around under an oak tree, there are a gazillion acorns, and statistically very very few statistically it's pretty much none of the acorns become oak trees but you can uh, go collect some acorns and you can do what I've done and I'm trying to grow oak trees from them it's just an experiment it's not that I uh, really want oak trees but uh, it's something I have done before and you can do it and what I've done is I took a, an old soda bottle uh, cut the top off. I took an orange juice container that's clear plastic and I took uh, one of those boxes that lettuce sometimes comes in and I put dirt in all of those and I'm planting acorns in them and then I'm going to really water them. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to drown them but I'm going to make sure that they have water. Almost every day I'll go and pour some water in and see if I can grow some oak trees. If you do this You'll get extra credit. If you don't do it, it will not affect your grade at all. Right? I'm just trying to encourage you to do it. I think it's, you know, I think it's kind of interesting, kind of cool. Uh, definitely it's the, you know, the scientific process to try stuff and see if it works. So if you uh, force leaves on the branches, thanks for participating in that. If you're thinking about 
uh, going and finding some acorns and sticking it in a plastic bottle with soil and water, uh, then good luck. And um, I guess that is at least most of the things I wanted to talk about. Okay, hope you're having a good day. Thanks.